Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general log reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know the time is fluid. That means for you this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay. We have rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Okay, so be careful. There's someone in your environment you cannot trust. Wall, misunderstanding. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Gavel, involvement with the law. October, so for some of you, the month of October could be significant. It could be someone's birth date, an anniversary, or an important date in the future. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Bat, take care, enemies are working against you. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Horseshoe, good luck. And vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. We have a lot of really specific messages here. Now, these are intended for love, but they can resonate in many different ways. And I don't get this is in regards to love. Now, this could be someone around you that you work with or someone like a family member. Or for some of you, this could be someone that your person is dealing with. Okay? Now, I don't do legal or medical readings or questions, but for some of you, this could talk about a divorce, maybe a custody agreement, uh, or some kind of work-related issue. Okay, um, for some of you, two things. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. For some of you, it could be that there's someone very deceptive that you work with who is going to try to spread rumors or gossip, but there's been some kind of misunderstanding, they don't like you for whatever reason, um, this person may be very jealous, very insecure, protect yourself you need to take care enemies are working against you you need to defend yourself okay worry that someone is against you someone going out of your life someone is going behind your back okay there's some kind of misunderstanding shrewdness resourcefulness especially in regards to business i feel like be very careful in your working environments okay just kind of keep to yourself don't feed anybody's drama or negativity for others of you for others of you if you are dealing with someone who has some type of possible legal matter or situation going on in their life, it could be that maybe someone has something to do with children or a divorce or separation of some sort. So we'll see. Let's take a look and see. I'm going to go for this deck. So clear messages and guidance. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective Aquarius? We're going to do your energy at the top, your person's energy at the bottom. Okay, what is going on for Aquarius? I keep wanting to say Taurus, so some of you definitely could be thinking about or dealing with a Taurus, or maybe you have Taurus in your chart. We also have Pisces strongly here with the hangman. We have the two, I'm sorry, the eight of swords in the reverse. And the hermit Virgo energy. Okay, let's look at your person. The sun, this is Leo energy. We also have the ten of wands. We have the Seven of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Under the deck here is the Fool. This is Aries Energy, the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. Okay. So I feel like someone's going to try to do something risky here. In your energy with the Five of Wands, I feel like there's a lot of conflict around you. Like I said, some of you there definitely could be some kind of work-related or some kind of person around you who likes to stir up drama or negativity. Be really careful. Do what you can to protect yourself from that person and their energy. For others of you, you could be looking at your person and you know that they're going through a really di difficult situation with someone who is always like very confrontational. They're always looking for reasons to fight or you know some kind of conflict. They can't everything's easy or peaceful. 
you may feel like your person's really going through a really difficult situation with a lot of negative people. Like as an example, let us just say that your person is separating from someone and there are kids involved or money involved or whatever. This person could be, you know, you know, I'm getting half of everything, you know, I'm taking the house, you know, I'm getting full custody, I'm doing this. They can't, they just want to always find something to fight about or argue about. They can't just come to some kind of peaceful, you know, resolution. Um, there could be, they could be having friends and family turn against them as well. It just could be a lot of chaos and you could be very aware of this. Now with the hangman, I feel like you're not, you're standing, but you're choosing to stand by this person's side. You're trying to see them through this situation. But it does feel really difficult and very draining because you don't really know how much you can do. Now, strangely, I'm getting like this energetic energy of like, I know I can't be with you right now, but energetically I'm with you. You know, I know that, you know, I can't, you know, be physically by your side right now because of X, Y, Z, but I'm always here for you. You know, I, I feel it, you know, whatever you're going through, I'm sensing it, I'm feeling it, you know, I'm connected to it, you know, my heart is with you, my heart is heavy for you, you know, I hate that you're having to go through all this. There just seems like, you know, you've stood by this person in any way that you can, you've helped as much as you can, but you know, this person has to unstick themselves from a really difficult situation and it's within their power to do so. You know, you've supported them the best you can and now it's like, it's up to you, it's out of my hands. Now you're waiting to see how this person will navigate through this, how they will unstick themselves. For some of you, there could be some kind of absence right now or like silence between you and this person, like physical or emotional distance. Like I said, maybe you're not physically with them right now and you're waiting to hear from them, waiting to get some kind of update, waiting to get some kind of information about their circumstances, about their journey, about, again, this is about being stuck. Both of these cards, this one's in the reverse. It's like has this person done what they said they would do you're waiting for this waiting for this news it does feel like money is a risk here for someone whether that's a work problem work drama or some kind of situation that someone's leaving behind always take what resonates and leave what doesn't when your person's thinking about you, they think about you as the sun. So we love to see the sun because the sun is the happiest card in the deck. This person loves you. Without a doubt, this person loves you. But there does seem to be like a lot of stress, a lot of drama, a lot of pain here for this person. When they think about you, though, it does bring them a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment, warmth, acceptance, understanding. How are they thinking about you? They're in love with you. They're... This person is so excited about potentially building something new with you, moving forward, being together, romance, dating. They're very appreciative of you. Like when they think about you, it, they're like in awe of you. Like, you know, Aquarius has always been there for me. Aquarius has always had my back. Aquarius has always, you know, kept me strong, you know, built up my confidence, you know, helped me to overcome problems, you know. There's so much trust and so much love and you know, they want to like, I feel like this person just wants to like spoil you. Like they want to like give you so much like affection. Like they want to, you know, really show their gratitude for you. How grateful they are that you're in their life, that you've been there for them, how you supported them. Because maybe they haven't had that in previous relationships or even with family. And so this person wants to show that to you. But they're feeling very overwhelmed, very like burdened, weighted down by everything in their life. You know, we see like this man here who's trying to carry like all 10 of these, you know, staffs, you know, wands. This person is like falling down and struggling to get back up. They don't want to. They want to keep pushing forward because they know that, you know, the end is near, right? Endings bring forth new beginnings. We have a 10. This is about completion. The end of a difficult chapter. Just got to make it. It's like running a marathon and you get, you know, just a couple feet away from the finish line. I know that I'm exhausted, but I've got to push through. I'm at the end of it. What are they feeling? This is going to take time. <clears throat> this is going to take a little bit of time. They have to be very careful because some, there are some deceptive people here maybe using everything against them, everything they say and do. Like I said, I don't do like legal stuff, but for some of you, part of this distance here could be because if they are going through some type of legal situation, they may know that this other person 
who looks for any kind of confrontation could use anything to their advantage. Well, they're already stepping out of the relationship. We're not even formally divorced yet, or this isn't this. They could be using anything they can against them, so they have to be very careful. And it is really draining because they like daydream and fantasize about this connection and coming together with you. Their intentions are to succeed, are to push forward, and they really do want this connection to be public, to be known. They want to they want to have a house with you, have a home with you, have a family, have a life together. But this is going to unfold for them in divine timing. Now, for some of you, when I see Wheel of Fortune, sometimes for me it's it's you know four seasons, twelve months, it's a full cycle, a full year. So, for some of you. As an example, that doesn't mean that nothing's going to improve or change you know, until one year's time. But it could be that a year from now, a lot of things are different. There's going to be this journey over the next year of a lot of things slowly changing. You know, Like for some people, a divorce, for example, can take a year or more. Okay, so, um, And I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust, someone you know is going to tell you the truth. Because this person is not in the clear just yet. They have to overcome this hurdle, this mountain, this obstacle. Um, and it is going to take them time. But they want to succeed and they want to build this future with you. But there are some very deceptive, sneaky people here, right? Some of you foxes could be significant. I don't know why somebody could have a fox tattoo or a clock tattoo. I also have roses here. Um, or even a combination. But... Yeah, there's been some kind of misunderstanding, which you're not aware of yet. This person's going to bring some clarity here. Someone is going out of their life. They're ending a situation. Now, this could be really draining on you right now, but this person's trying to protect themselves, defend themselves in a situation because their family's important. They, they're they going to have good luck, good fortune here, but they're having to be cautious. So that's what I have for y'all. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. I am currently running a 50% off sale for August 2024. So definitely go and check that out. As always, I wish you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.